Welcome back to my channel. So as you, so as you guys know that I just recently uploaded a what's in my boxy charm um, base box and premium box, plus showing you guys more makeup that I have just started purchasing over the last month. Um, I haven't really been doing makeup or like buying makeup. I sort of just stopped all of that once Grecia was born but after everything that has happened I just feel like picking up this hobby again is kind of going to be like my outlet. So I have recently started watching makeup videos again. As you guys know I had started off this channel like only doing makeup videos and buying makeup and reviewing makeup for you guys and stuff and then we got pregnant, Grecia was born, and we just switched over our, or like my makeup videos to family vlogs and stuff. And then it turned into lifestyle, and then I just stopped doing makeup overall. And I sort of want to bring that back, so as the weeks have gone by, I have started purchasing makeup again. I just figured that I would do a, or like do the makeup that you guys saw in that video, which I'm about to do right now. So obviously, I'm gonna film the video you just saw before this after this one, because... I need makeup on my face so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it so I didn't know if I wanted to start off by doing like a voiceover if I actually wanted to talk to you guys because Grecia is laying on the bed right there right behind me she is watching videos on the phone while I do this these days we're just pretty much inseparable so wherever I go she goes and it was like that before but now it's just you know so I'm gonna start off with this wet n wild primer serum and this is the hydrating one while we were in houston we were spending a lot of time outdoors there was a swimming pool at the apartment that we were staying in so we spent a lot of time outside and i i think i like messed up my skin because i ended up getting really dry skin and that had never happened to me before and recently i just had dry patches all over my face so i made sure that all the makeup that i was purchasing was hydrating so that's just going to make my face extra hydrating but even then like you guys can see the shine to my face before i was matte and dry everywhere so the next thing i'm going to go in with is this one heck of a blot so we're just gonna test out and um tell you guys how i like them and see what kind of look we come up with today so i had purchased these two foundations i really haven't used this revolution conceal and define honestly I have been using the LA Girl Pro Matte. So for today, I am going to use this foundation. How do I? It's been so long since I do makeup videos. I forgot like the step that I do everything in. So I'm going to do my foundation. And then before I put all the powder and stuff down, I will fill in my brows and, um, you know, all that razzle dazzle. So I'm just, oh Lord, this is dark. Huh? this is in the shade f10 in case you guys have the same skin tone as i do so i really like this foundation i like this color is a pretty good match i was kind of hesitant in using it because i thought that it was going to be way too dark but i feel like it's a pretty good match so far so i did purchase this revolution conceal and hydrate concealer in the shade c7 i did use this the other day and honestly i hated it i did zoom you guys in a little bit if you didn't notice i did hate it because it did cling on to my dry patches really bad but then at the time that i used it i wasn't using anything under it i just put this on because i was going to laredo and i didn't want to put foundation and everything on because of the mask that you have to wear because of covid so i just kind of put concealer down and i hated it so now that i have a base and primers and stuff i'm going to see how it looks 
and to see if it actually looks better or the same i'm not gonna knock it just yet okay, so now before i jump into to finish off my face makeup i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows um and i'm using right now i always switch it up i'm using the this is a milani one i also like to use the maybelline one but I always only use pomades for the days where I'm doing just something supernatural. I will just fill in my brows using the powder. And I have the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Chocolate. So that's what I do if I'm not putting makeup on my face face. But for now, I'm going to go in with the pomade. I feel like that took me life. Um, and now I'm going to go in with some concealer to just to clean up brows okay so now that the brows are done i'm going to go ahead and powder everything this is a palladio rice powder and you can buy this at sally's beauty supply if you have one grab some of this with my real techniques brush a lot and this will keep your under eyes super like dry it's not gonna crease your under eye your makeup is gonna look flawless under there i also like dragging this up to my eyelids just so that the my eyeshadow won't crease because i did go in with a little bit of concealer what, what i had left over i did pack it onto my eyelids most days um i will set with this same powder also so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my face. I did get this Ace Beauty or Ace Beauty contour palette in my BoxyCharm. I have used this, I love it. And then I also purchased this Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade What Shady Beaches. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna sort of compare them and see uh, if I could open this, oh my God. I'm telling you I haven't. I purchased all these things and I haven't even played with them yet. So it's kind of like a first impressions also using all these products. So this is the bronzer, the Wet n Wild one. And then this is the Ace Beauty one. So I'm pretty sure um, I can pull both of these off. So I'm going to go ahead and just bronze up with this one. And then try to contour with either one of these shades. So let's see if I don't mess up my entire face. Trying my best to start off slow. Because I don't want to like mess this up. I don't know if it was the foundation or the um, concealer that I don't like. but Or the powder that is just really annoying on my chin. Okay and then now I'm going to go in with the Ace Beauty one and a smaller brush this is a sonia kashuk brush and i'm gonna go in with the third shade i think the fourth one would be way too dark so this one i'm just going to apply it right here so now i'm going to find a blush because i feel like my face still needs some some sort of color to it i'm gonna go in with the maybelline blush in the shade berry and I'm going to put this on the apples of my cheeks. I love you, Mama. I love you. So I'm going to go in with that same powder and just do that. I look funny now. Just like that to like kind of cut the blush and bronzer and stuff. And now I think I'm going to... Oh, I need highlighter. So I picked up this Wet n Wild. I look so funny. I picked up this Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter Powder in the shade I'm So Lit, so it's amazing, super amazing. 
and you really don't need a lot so i'm pretty sure this is going to last you like years now before i move on i'm just gonna go ahead and dust off this powder here she's fancy or whatever i like it i like it i like it i like it makeup just makes me so happy can you tell i'm so happy i'm doing all this all over again so now i did get this palette this is the jaclyn hill palette volume two but i think i want to play with this today because the other thing would have been the manny mua palette that is from morphe the glam palette and i feel like because i actually purchased the jaclyn hill one i kind of want to use that one for the first time if you guys want to see a video using this palette then please let me know um and i that can be something that i do in the next like for my next makeup tutorial i have been loving seeing those one color eyeshadow looks so i think that's what i'm going to do today so i'm thinking of sticking in this color range right here these four shades right here just because you know my shirt i'm gonna go in with love handles you guys i have not done eyeshadow in a very very long time so i'm kind of scared i'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit so that you guys can see exactly what i'm doing the next shade that i'm gonna go in with is positive t positive positive t and i'm just gonna put this a little bit lower and i'm using the exact same brush the next shade that I'm going to go in with is My Man. And I'm going to go in on a flat brush. But this is in the shade My Man. There is a little bit of fallout on this shadow. Where's Bert when I need him to blow on my face? I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush. And I'm just going to blend those two colors in the middle. I'm going to grab Positive T one more time and i'm just going to go like right on the crease to make sure that those two shades uh my man and positivity are blended together now i'm also gonna go in with love handles and just go over the transition shade a little bit just so that it doesn't disappear so i'm gonna go ahead and finish off this other eye and then i will come back and do the bottom with you guys and we'll continue okay so now that we are back with both eyes done i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lower lash line grabbing the exact same colors i'm gonna go in with positivity and then i'm gonna go in with a flat shader brush with picking up my man just like that and i'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other eye positive t um i'm gonna blend that out a little bit further and then my man i put that almost directly onto my lash line i'm going to go in with the eyeliner i'm gonna use the laura geller line and define eyeliner and this is in the shade black and brown so this is what it looks like i'm going to line the top of my lid with the black with this and then the lower lash line i'm gonna use the brown shade on my lower lash line Mom, i'm gonna go in with the coal the and then just with my finger i'm gonna go ahead and smudge that out <laughs> just to make it like smokier like that i'm going to put on mascara and then i'll come back i did show you guys i'm gonna I don't know which lashes to use. Okay, let me zoom you guys out a little bit. Okay, so the lashes that I had gotten were these that I showed you guys. But I don't know which ones I'm going to use. These are super, super natural. These are pretty glam, I guess. And then these are just like super over-exaggerated. So I think I'm going to go in with pop rocks which is this one i did mention in that video where i got these lashes from these are from amazon i got 14 pairs for 10 bucks and then these are 16 pairs i did get these from a girl who lives in the same town as i do the brand i guess is eye candy and these are called pop rocks which is this shade and then this is fun dip i like you know my candy the girl's name 
is Sydney and she does bomb makeup you guys and I've just been you know watching these girls go at it from my hometown just rocking makeup looks and I love it I love how everyone's doing makeup I love watching everybody and just getting ideas yeah I think I had already cut them because I knew that I was going to use them so I'm gonna apply the glue and I'm gonna give that a chance to dry while I put while I curl and put just a little bit of mascara they're super beautiful I'm gonna grab the telescopic mascara and I'm going to put some just a little bit on my lower lash line I can't deal with these eyelashes you guys they're humongous they're so pretty oh. you see they're not pretty because you're wearing slippers on my arm are you trying to roast me right now yeah <laughs> that's what i'm thinking that mushrooms are glittering and they have more no that's one no they kind of so she's trying to roast me because she's wearing her princess Elsa high heels from Walmart. No shade against Walmart though, but she does have princess shoes and I'm wearing slippers. So she's saying that she's better than I am because yeah, her shoes are better. Because they have glitter all over them and then they have heel right here and, and, and these snowflake and these golden glitter everywhere. And then for my lipsticks, I am going to go in with this Fully Fire Expensive Habits lipstick. I got the shade Full House, Here to Stay, and Sunset Boulevard. I want like a nude. So I'm going to... No, ma'am. Because you destroy them. I'm going to go in with this Sand Nudes by Wet n Wild. This is the liquid catsuit lipsticks. Yeah, this is a high shine one. This isn't matte. Perfect. Alright. Alright, so that about does it for today's makeup video. You guys have no idea how, how good putting makeup on feels whenever you have just been feeling like poop. I feel like... Who is she? I think I cut this lash way too short. So that's why it kind of looks a little bit different, but it's my first time back. So disregard that. This one looks a lot better than this one, to be honest, but it's whatever. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. If you guys have any products that you guys want me to test out to go out and buy and, you know, do a little review on, then I definitely will. Just let me know down in the comments below. So I'm going to go take some pictures so that I can have them ready to upload onto Instagram, which you guys should definitely follow me on Instagram and Snapchat because that's where I'm at whenever I'm not vlogging or recording or uploading anything. Y'all can always catch me on there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thumbs up for my mom. Yeah, give her mom a big thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.